So here is the Android 12 Beta 2 and today even the Beta 2.1 update was released with a couple of fixes and I am running on the latest build just to showcase all the changes that I have seen in Android 12 so far. So if you are interested in knowing everything, well please be patient for the next 5 minutes or so as we'll cover everything about Android 12 Beta 2 and 2.1. Anyways, I have a Pixel 4a right here and I have already enrolled into beta and I've set up everything. Also a full disclaimer, this is Android 12 beta and it is not ready to be used as a daily driver. So don't flash it unless you feel like giving it a shot. But if you really wanna try, you can just enroll it on the Google website and links to that are in the description area itself. Also make sure you subscribe to the channel so that I can make more videos like this one in future. Okay, starting off with the lock screen itself and now we have this new material UI and this redesigned theme that is this material U and I kind of have mixed feelings about it. The lock screen and clock looks really better and clean as they focus on the essential stuff only and even the notification UI has changed a lot on there. So they look more refined and cleaner visually and in overall usage. Next up, if we long press on the home page, we have this new animation and some changes to the wallpaper app. Well that has also been done to keep it more in line with this new material U theme. We also have this new widget picker and some new widgets as well. And some of them are coming with the upcoming builds like what was shown in Android 12 video by Google and they will look really good. Also we now have this new UI in task manager and it looks a bit cleaner I would say. And this app closing animation is also different this time around. The screenshot option also has some refinements and the animation now looks a bit better. Coming to the notification panel and just like in the beta one and though I appreciate the bigger toggles, I really feel awkward about this brightness toggle and especially that stick behind it. I think it looks a bit awkward, I don't know, it's just me maybe. There is also this extra dim option that reduces screen brightness to less than usual and the mobile data tile is also gone now. So it has been merged into internet tile directly and we have one stop controls over the internet access. So that makes it a bit easier to toggle between the things. Also in the notification bar we now have three different tiles to block the camera, location and microphone access from each and every application. And this one tap kill switch really removes some privacy concerns. Next up the notification tiles have also changed and they are in these rounded cards which makes them look a bit cleaner with more notifications. And the way they are stacked makes them look really nice and this new notification shade animation looks quite awesome and different too. On the top of notification drawer we have this mic location and camera indicators just like in iOS. And these tell which permission is being used by which application. And again a good privacy focused feature. Talking about the privacy controls, we also have a privacy dashboard now that tells about what permission was used and when and even the sensors and other usage too and we can block all the access with one single permission page. So that is really handy and a step in right direction by Google. After that the power menu has now changed too and looks like this is more reachable with one hand. I would say it looks somewhat out of sync as compared to other UI elements or maybe it's just me. In the smaller changes part well we have this new volume toggle as well which is goodish but again that stick things behind it makes it look a bit awkward. And I also observed that whenever we have multiple toggles they just interfere with each other and look like a mess. I am pretty sure it is a bug and Google will resolve it soon. So let's see how it goes. We also have this new conversation widget that holds up the shortcut to whatever conversation you wish to access in a tab. So that's good too. Next up we have something similar to iOS and this brings whole UI downwards instead of playing with the icons. So you can swipe from top to bottom on this gesture bar and it will enter into this one handed mode. To exit it just simply tap on the empty area or it will do that automatically for you after a few seconds which is also handy. In gestures we have this new long press for power menu or assistant option and that will trigger Google assistant when you long press on that power key. We also have redesigned pin and pattern pages and they look decentish and I like the animations here mostly. So this pattern here has this trail now and the pin menu has these new weird animation stuff. The UI of settings has also changed and is now this colorful 100 theme with new overscroll animation and it looks a lot like one UI to be honest. 
We also have this new battery tab along with a new graph indicator. And I like the older one but that's how everything is going to be. So everything is now themed as per your wallpaper and color and accents and stuff. There are some minor fixes here and there like with the privacy toggles, animations and lock screen shortcuts. And all of this will contribute to a better and refined experience and more UI changes with this material U theme will come really soon with the next few betas. So these were all the new changes with Android 12 beta 2 and 2.1 and I have somewhat mixed feelings about some changes but overall it looks decent and I hope they refine it a bit more before stable update so that the elements look more connected. Anyways if you end up liking this video make sure to press the subscribe button and press the thumbs up button while you are at it. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.